Charity. Charity doesn't deserve this. At least Charity doesn't see the terrible things the fake Charity is doing. What upset her so much. The zombie Charity is so terrible, so mean to other people. Not at all like the real Charity. I don't understand. What's Charity doing? Dancing, I guess. I, but look how she's dancing. I don't, I don't understand it either. I don't get it. I've never seen Charity act this way before. Hey, Miguel, come on. I mean, you don't need to watch this. No, Let's thanks. Just go. But I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to put a stop to this right now. <sighs> Answer me, TC. Why are you here? You know my death was Julian's fault. He took away your tennis career, ruined your life, and it broke my heart. When, when are you gonna pay that son of a bitch back? Instead of partying in his house, you should be seeking vengeance. Don't worry, Pop. I'm gonna make Julian pay. He said that his dead father appeared to him and told him the combination to Julian's safe. It couldn't have been just TC's imagination. How would he have known the combination to the safe? And if TC's father was real, then what I saw that night must have been real as well. Julian? Is that you? Who are you? Who are you? What are you doing? Stop it! No! Please, somebody! Help! He's taking my baby! No! My baby! My baby! No! Oh, then my baby didn't die. He must be alive somewhere. And that bastard Julian took him. He stole my baby. But he's not gonna get away with it. You're a nasty piece of work, Crane. Oh, indeed I am. That's all the more reason to remember the threats that I made before you departed Harmony years ago, and I promise you, I will make good on each and every one of them. I hate your stinking guts. Say whatever you like. Just do whatever you like. Well, come back to Harmony. See your familiar. Know that you'll be opening a whole can of worms, a can I dare say you want kept shut. I'm right, aren't I, Antonio? <laughs> because who do you think that that can of worms will destroy if it's open? We, the almighty, all-powerful cranes? Or you? The low-life loser Lopez Fitzgerald. Is that what you want? Do you want to destroy your life and the lives of your loved ones? Damn Julian Crane. You've destroyed my life. You've hurt my family. Well, uh, beer. A little more festive than tea. Beer's still ringing in the new year, aren't we? Yeah. Beer sounds good, Diana. Now, uh, I'm sorry things didn't work out for you tonight. I mean, you didn't get to see your family. Yeah, well, it's like I said. Probably for the best. I don't end up hurting them more. Maybe things will be different someday. Maybe. Yeah, I hope so. In fact, I'm planning on it. I know something else about your little sister. 
your bride to be. Teresa is not pregnant anymore. What? How the hell would you know? Because I have proof that Teresa got an abortion. strange to you to be up in this cold weather after having lived so many years down in the tropics. No, it feels good. I've missed the seasons, actually. Well, then maybe you shouldn't come back to the island. Liz! And Doc, what are you two doing here? Well, we decided you were probably having a hard time without us around, so we decided to come check up on you, make sure you were all right. It's so wonderful that you're here. Thank you. Yeah, what a surprise. <laughs> You know what? You must be freezing in just that alone. Oh, why don't you come with me? I'll get you a heavier jacket. Oh, thank you, Diana. So, uh, how are things going, Brian? Not great. I'm sorry to hear that. I guess that means that Diana didn't have her big memory breakthrough. No, not really. Hey, why don't you all come on in here? Get warm. Oh. <laughs> okay. been worried about you. Did you get in touch with your family? No. I know that you have a very good reason for wanting to put so much distance between you and your family. And I know you don't want to talk about it. Well, you're right. I understand. We both understand. It had to have been hard to come here at all. Doc and I both know what it's like not to want to face your past. Julian has done his last dirty deed. I'm going to put an end to all of his evil. I'm going to make him pay. Here, honey, you take this. It's just a little something to help you relax. Thanks. Now, come on. I want you to lie down on the sofa and try and calm down. Sweetheart, I am calm. No, you're not. I can see it in your eyes. Honey, you don't know how badly I want to rip him apart. Yes, I do. Now, you lie down and let the pill take effect. That's right. Just close your eyes and... I'm going to sit here right next to you. That's good. Just relax. Try not to think of anything. Just let your mind go blank. TC? Can you hear me? be back before you wake up. But there's something that I have to take care of. And it's long overdue. What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about your fiance. You know, it's such a shame you're so happy about being a papa to be, because there's no baby now. Teresa got rid of it, and I got proof. That is a lie. Teresa would never have an abortion, never. Of course she wouldn't. You know, I had to tear you to pieces for making such an accusation. You know that's my sister you're talking about? Luis, please don't hurt him. Mom, you can't expect me to stand here and let him talk about Teresa like that. 
Now, what kind of sicko are you to make up something so horrible about our baby? Teresa would never do anything to hurt it. Look, I know it's hard to hear, Ethan, but like I said... No, I shut up! It's, you know, you ruined my life once before, now you're trying to do it, Teresa, and I won't let you do it! Oh, it's just... Yeah, well, okay, okay, guys, guys, guys. Come on, leave me. You will not stop moving her. Lay off me. What's your problem, dude? My problem is this is my girlfriend, so back off. Wait, she's your girlfriend? So yeah. what? Oh, well, 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 back up, Dean. No, we didn't know she had a boyfriend, all right? We were just dancing. All right, we'll dance with someone else. Okay, no problem. Why is she coming on to us like that, dancing like that? That's her boyfriend. What do you think you're doing, Charity? Like they said, we were just dancing. You know what, you really need to lighten up. You've been acting so weird lately. I'm acting weird. Me. Yes. You. Please leave me alone. I didn't feel so bad. They can't help us, Charity. Charity's the sweetest person Timmy's ever known. Charity's the reason Timmy wanted to become a real boy. So Timmy could love Charity with a real heart. And now Timmy is a real boy. And maybe, maybe Charity could love Timmy back now. If only Timmy could give a sign or something. Just stop him! Just give me a minute! This hey. is even better than I expected. A scroll did say there would be a murder tonight. Maybe this is it. Look at Teresa. She's about to throw up. And who could blame her? Her whole world is about to fall apart. Come on, leave me. Hold it! Hold it! Hold her. Just wait a minute. Give me a chance. Would you guys just, just give me a chance? I'm not lying. I swear. Shut up! Yeah, we've heard enough of your lies. No, look, it's it's it, it's it's true. Look, I uh, look. This is it. This is the proof. What? What does he have in that envelope? Yes, Timmy. In a way, I am the sign. Can Charity be saved? Can Angel Girl get Charity out of the ice and rescue her from this cave? I'm sorry, Timmy, but I can't. It's not within my powers to save Charity. But angels are supposed to do good things. I can't save Charity, but you can. How? Timmy already tried to melt the ice with electric blankets. But Princess got so mad at Timmy. Yes, I know. Timmy has to save Charity. But Timmy doesn't want to hurt his princess. If Timmy doesn't do something, Charity could be stuck here forever. Timmy's stuck between the two women he loves. What is Timmy supposed to do? So I talked to my brother on the phone. He told me to stay away. But I snuck into my mother's room and I saw her sleeping. But you didn't wake her up? No. I don't know what I would have said anyway. I mean, I can't tell her the reason that I left home so many years ago. I keep telling him his mother would understand whatever the reason. Yeah, and I keep telling you that I've caused her a lot of pain. And if I come back, I'm only going to cause her more. But we went to the party so that you could talk to her. You were ready to see her in person. What happened? I, uh... I just realized that now is not a good time. I would end up hurting everyone. 
So you left again, without talking to her? Yeah, that's right. Brian, look, I can tell that you really do want to see your family, but there's something or someone that's stopping you. Yeah, Liz. I want to see my family more than anything, but I can't. There's someone very powerful that's stopping me from it. Who is it, and why? All I can say is that he's powerful enough to hurt my family very deeply. He could tear their lives apart. I mean, this person, they've done something so horrible, it's just caused my whole family to suffer. Sounds like a monster. Yeah. Yeah, he is. He's the reason that I had to leave Harmony. He's the reason that I can't come back. Brian, if suddenly the... If suddenly this person disappeared, I mean, if they were out of the way, would you be able to go back? Yeah. Absolutely. If this person was out of the way, I could go back to my family. Oh, good God, not again! Where's that lunatic husband of yours? TC is not crazy. He knows what you did to him. But he knows what... Oh, that's right. <laughs> His dead father told him some ridiculous story blaming me for TC's accident all those years ago. Is this a new career for your husband, dear? Conferring with spirits? I don't know what happened here tonight, Julian, but I know that it was not TC's imagination. He knew the combination to your safe, Julian. He was able to go into it and get the evidence that his father told him to. TC opened my safe. Oh, that's just perfect. Another charge to add to. Assault and attempted murder. I've had it with that wacko. I'm going to see to it. He goes away for a very long time. You are not going to do anything to my husband because you are scared to death that he will hunt you down and put you out of your misery once and for all. Put me out of my misery. Well, I have had it with these accusations and being attacked. Not just by your maniac husband. You think I'd regret ending your life? It'd be the best thing I've ever done with my own. Oh. I've had it, Eve. I won't stand for it. TC is right, and you know it, Julian. You are responsible for ruining his career. And TC is going to prove it, and I am going to help him. I wouldn't dig too deeply into this one, dear. You won't like what you find. There's more to this story than TC or even his dead father knows. What are you talking about? Go on, Eve. Go tend to your husband's insanity. TC is not crazy. What happened tonight here was real. Just like what happened to me here in the fog months ago was real. I saw the truth, Julian. I know what happened. What are you babbling about now? Our baby. I know that our baby didn't die. You had someone kidnap him from the hospital and take him away from me. Our baby is alive, Julian, and you know it. What kind of proof are you talking about? Well, there can't huh? be proof because Teresa didn't do it. Teresa never deliberately hurt our baby. Yeah. Just look. Go ahead. See what I got. Yeah. See? Photographs don't lie. See for yourself. Teresa. This is the Harmony Women's Clinic. What were you doing there? Teresa. I saw you down there before Christmas. But I never thought... Is it true? You at the abortion clinic? Tell me, Teresa. I need to know the truth.
mean, I'm sorry, Charity, but I don't understand what's going on. Nothing to understand, Miguel. It's a party. I was dancing. We're supposed to be having fun. But the way you were dancing with those guys, it was like you were coming on to them. <sighs> well, if that's what you want to think, then fine. Jessica and Simone are dancing with lots of boys. Nobody's freaking that's out about them. That's not the same. Miguel, do you expect me to dance with you the whole night? Is that what you <sighs> want? Because if that's what you want, forget it. I'm here to have a good time. believe how well my plan is working. The fake charity is gonna have Miguel breaking up with her in no time. And I'll be there to pick up the pieces. With the real charity frozen in a block of ice, nothing can go wrong. And she's gonna stay in that cave forever. Has charity ever loved to me? All I can tell you is that your life and charities are intertwined. They are? Like Romeo and Juliet? In a way. Timmy has a chance with Charity. It's up to Timmy to save Charity. He has to do something. He has to. All these years I have lived with the pain of thinking that my baby was dead. And he's not. He's alive. You took him from me, Julian. You stole my baby. And I should kill you for what you've done. My God, you're as crazy as your husband. You're both stalked, raving mad. Our baby is dead. He died right after he was born years ago. You have to let that go and move on with your life. I have moved on with my life. But there is not a day that goes by that I don't think about our baby. Our son. I lived with that pain every single day. I'm sorry for your pain, but that baby did not live. Yes, he did. You had someone take him away for God only knows what reason. You ruined my life, Julian. Just like you ruined TC's life. God, you're a monster. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm a monster. I've ruined everyone I've ever met. Blah, blah, blah. Are you quite finished? No, not even close. Well, I am. I'm finished with this insanity. I'm going to have your insane husband locked up. And I'm going to let it out that you and I had an affair and a child. No. What? No, you, you can't. I can, and I will. But you'll be ruined. Oh, hardly. Do you think anyone will give a, a rat's rare end that we had an a, affair and a child out of wedlock? I'm sure you weren't the only one. Not the only one? Well, I'm sure I've gotten other young women pregnant. I mean, some I don't even know about. So this picture of you is not a trick. It's actually you. You're going into the abortion clinic. Tell me why. I need the truth. It's true. Finally, she admits it. Now for the rest of her sordid story. Well, what, what's going on? Oh, God. Poor Teresa. I mean, she was so afraid that she was going to lose Ethan. This time, I think she was right to worry. She's losing him. I can explain if you let me. No, you don't have to explain, Teresa. It's all my fault. Your fault. What? 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 What's he talking about? His fault. Well, I kept har harping on about 
how we needed to get established before we start a family. You know, that um, we had to have a place of our own and jobs and enough money coming in in order to take on the responsibility of another life. You know, I, I kept saying that it wasn't the right time. I'm sorry. I mean, you must have thought that I wouldn't want the baby. You must have... Must have been under such terrible pressure. My God. What have I caused you to do? Julian, if the truth comes out about our past, it'll destroy me, my life, my family. TC will go crazy. He's already there, Eve. Come after you. He'll want you dead. He's already coming after me, trying to kill me. He belongs in jail. Please, Julian. Please don't do this. I'm sorry. I told you. I've had it. I'm tired of people causing problems in my life. This way, it will be over and done with once and for all. No! Well, I'm sorry. Don't show yourself out. I've had enough. I need some peace and quiet. But... Is there any way that you could do that, Brian? I mean, somehow get this horrible person out of the way, maybe convince him to leave your family alone? No. No, there's no convincing this guy of anything. And it's not only the horrible things that he's done to me, it's the things that he's done to my whole family. Things that they don't even know about. Things that he could potentially do. He uses people for his own good, and then when he's done with them, he just throws them away. He sounds like someone the world would be better off without. Yeah. A lot of people would be better off. Killing him would be a blessing, not a sin. Brian, I, I've never heard you talk like that. You don't mean that, do you? I'm sorry, Diana. But there are some evil people out there. I guess we all have someone like that in our past. Someone who, if he were destroyed, life would be better? Yeah. Life would be better. You must have gone through hell. Thinking that you couldn't tell me the truth. <laughs> you found out you were pregnant, and then you felt like you had to deal with it on your own. Because you, you thought I wouldn't want the baby. I'm sorry. I don't believe this. Ethan is blaming himself. No. I don't, I don't want you to feel no, bad, okay? Just, it's just not... I wish you would have told me or come to me. I mean, to abort our first child, I mean, I would have done anything to make it work, Teresa. Anything. Ethan, look, you have to listen to me, okay? You, you don't understand. Yes, I do. It was my fault. I mean, you never would have done such a thing if you hadn't thought that I didn't want the baby. No, Ethan, listen to me. It's not your baby. The baby isn't yours. have to find a way to save Charity. Timmy's life and Charity's life are intertwined like a romantic story. But how can Timmy help her? Timmy will have to go back to Tabitha and convince her Get Charity out of the ice. <clears throat> Tell the king, use the book of spells and chant something. They'll do it. 
Timmy is going to save Charity. It's the last thing he ever does. Just maybe the last thing you'll ever do, dear Timmy. all over for you. I needed some air. You know, I'm really, really sorry about what you're going through in there. I saw what happened. I just wish I could understand it. So do I. But you know I'm always here for you if you need to talk. Thanks, Kay. I know you're always there for me. I just wish I knew why Charity was acting like this. She's like a stranger to me. Thanks. Wow. It's so hot in there with the dancing. Yeah. Jeez, it feels good out here. Whew. Hey, what is that? It looks like it's coming from the woods. What if it's coming from the cave where I left Charity? It looks like it's coming from the ice skating rink. No, no, that's definitely coming from the woods. That's weird. I agree. I think we should go check it out. Yeah, let's go get our coats. Well, I guess we should find a hotel for the night. I'm really sorry we don't have any more room on the boat. Oh, it's all right. It's a little cold for my blood anyway. It's so wonderful that you're here. Yes, thank you guys for coming. You're really good friends. Ryan, look, in all the years I've known you, I've never known you to be so upset by something. Look, no, if there's anything I can do... Really, Liz, it's all right. I just want to get the keys to this boat back to the owner and then head back to the island. Can you really go back now? After dredging up all these memories and feelings, can you really just leave that all behind? That's a very good question, Liz. One I don't have the answer to. <laughs> well, good night. Good night. We'll see you tomorrow, Thanks. won't we? You can count on it. Good night. Bye. Well, Doc's right. It is pretty cold out here on the water. I'm gonna head down below. Leg. I can't move my leg. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. I can't get out. This is what happened years ago. This is where it ended. Your dreams wrecked the same way your car was. The accident took it all away from us, TC. It robbed you of your future in tennis. You weren't able to play Julian the next day. You were never able to play tennis again. This accident robbed you of your life's ambition. It robbed me of you, Pop. You were never the same. You died of a broken heart because of it, Pop. Look inside. Look and see who robbed us of our dream. See who's responsible for destroying your life. I knew it. I knew that you were behind this. Now I have the proof, Pop. <gasps> I didn't have proof then, but now I do. I know Eve wants me to sleep, but I can't. Not until I do what I have to do. I'm going to make Julian pay for what he did. 
I can't let Julian do it. If he talks about our affair, our baby, I'll lose everything. My life will be over. <laughs> I'm not going to let you ruin my life, Jillian. Once is enough. This time. It's not your baby. Good. Things are finally back on track. Teresa, what are you talking about? Whose baby is it if it's not Ethan's? Teresa, who is the father? Are you people still here? This party is over. You'll get no more food, no more drinks. You can all just vamoose. Julian. Perfect timing, Julian. <laughs> 